My name is Josh and I am the trusty businessman. I work at Invents Labs and I'm here to teach you about how to innovate business models, how to differentiate your product, how to establish product market fit. I hope you'll join me on this adventure as we work with different business models to help them tap into their markets to really figure out how to become successful in today's chaotic environment, in today's densely populated environment with all of the types of businesses that are out there. We want to figure out a way for you to stand and set yourself apart for success. So come join me and I hope you'll enjoy this episode. Today we're going to be talking about a business model for a care counselor. This is uh, one that I, I particularly like because it actually has enhanced my business model. So I really want to dive into this one with some intention to show you how you can leverage your partnerships to enhance your business model. And in this model, we are looking at problem solution and customer segments, but we're trying to figure out if the customer segment can be different because there is a lot of people in this space and it's very hard to make a name in this space. So let's look at the customer segment first. So this person is trying to uh, focus on clients. These are individuals or families who need to improve their mental health. She wants to create a conscience around the importance of having a balanced lifestyle that considers all the different areas of a human being. So it's a holistic point of view, spiritual, physical, mental, social awareness. And uh, they want to, she wants to uh, help them to identify their gifts, their qualities, their values. Um, so she's targeting people that have a strong limiting belief that they're lacking progress in their life. Um, she's also particularly skilled at uh, working with people who have experienced trauma. She has a bachelor's in Bogota, Colombia in psychology and so she's trying to bring that knowledge to the United States and work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis but to try to innovate her business model a little bit. So I told her you know there's a lot of people doing this in the space and there's a lot of problems because if you're trying to do this at as a private practice, you need to be on uh, certain insurances and it's very hard to get there. You need to have a lot of licenses. So the way to work around that to kind of circumvent the system is to uh, find a unique product that doesn't require those uh, hoops to jump through. And so we're going to look at this model very briefly and I'm going to show you how I've helped her to innovate this into a business model that is flourishing today. The problem is focused on clients which are individuals or families. So I said, well, there's a lot of people doing this. And as uh, she and I got to talk a little bit more, I realized that I, as a CEO, have a lot of the problems of diving deeper into my organization, making sure that I'm working out the right routines and disciplines in my life so that I can better impact my organization. And so I realized there's a hole in the market there where you can actually do counseling for the companies and the executives in the companies. And there's not a lot of people in this space. There are people that do it, but not in the way that she's doing it because she's focusing on the personal growth within the individual, not necessarily within the employee, if that makes sense. So we've since pivoted her business model to a workplace counseling, um, executive leadership coaching sort of business model. And today she has a uh, website, so let me just put that up really quick. So here is Amanda's website, and here you can see that she is targeting the individual and the family with the first page on her website. Um, it's more of a broad approach, but at the very top, um, she's going to be giving you a call to action for workplace counseling. So if you're here for that reason, and now you can see the whole feel and theme change to a more professional, less casual sort of atmosphere where she's performing as a culture catalyst for our company. She comes in to executive meetings with me where we do a discovery audit and she's there to analyze how the employees or the executives are working together. Um, and then where she's improving the culture, she's helping to humanize the workplace. She focuses on mental health awareness, 
to specifically impact the bottom line, but it starts with the people. And we'll get more into that when I talk a little bit about the business models that we have or the, the roadmap that we have and that we implement in different companies. So I just want you to see the call to action that she's using here. So workplace counseling can help heal your culture, realize the full potential of your team and help you fall in love with your business again. So many businesses that we work with are so uh, kind of spent on their time, but also on their energy and they don't leave any room to build up the culture, but a healthy team and a flourishing team culture will help realize the full potential of your value structure of how you deliver value to your customers. I always say happy employees build better products and that kind of works in line with what we're doing here. So going back to her business model, she's competing with people like Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins, uh, where they give a lot of advice and they're highlighted because they're passionate, they're direct, they're helping a ton of people in, in these large events and they're creating content daily. This is kind of the, the competitor that she has to target against, but, but she's working more on a one-on-one -on -one basis with these individual organizations, helping to bring up the executives, helping to lead them, teaching them how to handle their routines better, handle their disciplines better, and we've already seen it improve the lives of some of our customers. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the subscribe button, like and share this video. We want to spread the information about the Lean Agile model for business. Please leave your ideas in the comments below. We'd like to know which business models you want us to feature next or submit your own at lamb.invents.com. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you'll catch me next time. Oh,